Hey guys, these are my top 10 SAS4 tips and tricks for you. Let's get into it. Number 1. In zombie pods, in the first set of 3 rows, if you go to the middle row and look at the top left, you can tell if rocks are blocking the left row. If rocks aren't there, you know left path is the open path. The same thing can be said for the second set of 3 rows. If you go to the end of the middle row and don't see rocks blocking the left row, then it's left. And obviously, for any of these, if the middle row does not have rocks, then it's the middle row. Number 2. Number 2 is to be smart with your black boxes. I suggest not opening them at lower levels. Instead, go into collections and spot a piece of armor or weapon you'd like. Then go to the average drop level of that item and wait until you're that level to open your black box. Number 3. Number 3 is to only invest 4 skill points into fast reload. Any more skill points invested into the skill will be useless once you have maxed out titan gloves. Number 4. Number 4 is biobug. Biobug is a bug with the biosynthesis argument that gives you more health based on how many bullets your gun shoots at once. At level 1, biosynthesis will give you 3 health per kill. If you hit an enemy with 10 bullets at level 1 biosynthesis, you'd be getting 30 health. At max level biosynthesis, you can get up to 360 health every kill. Number 5. My fifth tip is to utilize the boosting mechanic. Boosting is when you have higher leveled people join your game and then they leave once the game starts. This can give you a lot of XP and it works even better in XP contracts. Number 6. Don't use your skill point reset at lower levels, especially if you aren't sure what the meta skill point setup is for your character. Number 7. If you're tired of waiting for nightmare tickets, you can time skip. Time skipping is going into the settings in your device and skipping time to the next day so you have your tickets back. Don't feel bad about doing this, everyone does it and you can't get too far without it. Number 8. If you're on a map with cars, you can get the boss on one side of the car and position yourself on the other side. The boss will just keep running into the car, allowing for an easy kill. Number 9. Having more people on your team with high roller will slightly increase its effects. Number 10. The final tip is to join the SAS World Discord server at discord.gg SAS4. Here you'll find a bunch of active people doing nightmare games, grinding for cores, playing faction wars, and way more. An invite link is in the description. Also, this is an unbiased opinion. I'm not a moderator or an owner of the server. And that's about it, so good luck guys. See ya.